Now we get questions all the time on bracelets and rings and just men's jewelry and accessories in general, how to wear them, how to style them, and if it's even acceptable. Well, the simple answer is yes. Hey guys, this is TJ Men's Fashion, I'm Jose Zuniga, and for this week's video, we're gonna be bringing you a jewelry guide for men, and basically how to wear it without being over the top. Now, if you guys are from my channel and you watch my videos all the time, you know I'm a pretty, I guess I'm a minimalist, or a very, I like to think of myself of a very simple guy. I don't wear a lot of things over the top, or I'm not very flamboyant, so I don't have a lot of jewelry. But I always get questions on jewelry and how to wear them, and it's not that I don't like it, I just don't, you know, I don't have too much to talk about. I really only collect watches. So, we needed a little bit of help in this section because, like I said, I don't have that much. So I reached out to this brand called Zorada, found them online, they, I, I just loved the aesthetics that they had and kind of resonated with what I like of minimalism and clean lines and elegance. I don't know, I, that's what I found, that's what I liked, so I reached out to them and I was like, I kind of have this situation, I want to talk about this, I don't have much jewelry, Do you, can you guys send some out so I can talk to my viewers about it and they said yes so thanks to them this guide is possible so I do want to give a quick thank you to them and while I had them I always ask for a discount code when I can because I know some of you guys like the stuff and I want you to get it at a discounted price so they did give us a discount code and I'll have that link below as well now before we begin I do want to remind you guys that this is my personal opinion and not absolute while this guy may look great and rock what he's whatever he's doing and he might look awesome and some of you might like it. For me, it's just not, it's not what I like. It doesn't resonate with my style of a refined man. So keep that in mind with this video. And which brings me to my first tip, be minimal. Unlike women, I don't believe men should be flashy and over the top with all their accessories. Instead, they should be more subtle and precise with whatever they're wearing and whatever they wear is for a specific purpose. That's what I see men's wear as. So I always like to think when it comes to jewelry, keep it minimal and at most two. And what I mean by that is, for example, bracelets, two bracelets at most. For me, one bracelet is best. And this is my favorite one actually. It's kind of, it's just very minimal and clean. So think about it this way. This is how I always think about it. Imagine you put on a, like a super elegant suit and you just have this bracelet peeking out just a little bit. It creates this little tiny clash. It's not too much which adds a little mystery to your overall look so everything has a purpose that's the way i like to look at it without it being over the top without it being flashy and in your face so when it comes to jewelry keep it minimal okay now i'm going to need you guys to really pay attention because this is going to be very important when you're talking about jewelry just like suits just like shoes it's what looks best on you not what looks best on me not what looks best on your favorite actor but on you so when we're talking about jewelry, the most common metals are silver and gold, all right? So what you need to figure out is which one of those metals looks best on you, and that's what's gonna help you pick out jewelry that's gonna look good on you, that's gonna suit you. And the way you do that is by understanding your undertone. So I'll give you a quick example. Here we have a silver bracelet and a gold bracelet in one of my arms. Since I am on a warm undertone, you can automatically tell that gold automatically just looks better on me, while silver, just looks washed out. On the other hand, if I would be a cool undertone, silver would look great on me. And gold would not look as great. And then in the in-between are the people that either or just looks amazing and you guys are the lucky ones. You don't have to worry about anything. But if you do want to understand your undertone and which one you are, if you're cool, warm, or in-between, all you have to do is go to your local department store or maybe even your home find a gold and a silver metal and do exactly what I just did. You'll automatically be able to see which metal looks best on you and now you'll know your undertone and you'll know that from now on, you should stick to that metal most of the times because that's what's going to look best on you. And then the final tip I can give you is know your situation, all right? So understand where you're going. If it's a casual, let's say you see me, I'm just pretty casual right now, I have a really nice polo and then I threw on this minimal bracelet. This is great for almost any, any occasion, even a casual date, whatever it may be. However, let's say I'm going to a funeral or I'm going to a wedding, something more serious, or my first job interview. Would it be appropriate for me to stack two bracelets and three rings? Of course not. So know your situation and this is really just to your prerogative. Know where you're going and what suits you. So while you can have that in your arsenal, choose when to wear it. And it's just like I said in my first tip. It's intentional. 
understand that the pieces you wear should convey a purpose. So that's it for me in this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and it clarified some of this whole jewelry concept for you guys and how you can wear and rock it. Like I said, I get questions all the time. If it's okay, of course it's okay. Just need to know how to do it. So if you like this video, remember to hit up the like up button. Really helps me out. Also subscribe, we're putting out tons of new content. Comment down below what you think. If you like Zerota, check them out. I'll have a link down below with the discount code. My personal recommendation to you guys, if you're starting out, really pick this one up. Um, this is my favorite one. It's just minimal, it's simple. You can wear it with everything. I think this is the versatile one and, and it'll work with more styles than the other bracelets. Now they're all great, but check them out below. So that's it for me in this week's video guys. See you next time.